We're continuing on Shukha Aruch, Yilchot Shabbat, Siman Resh Nuntet. We are up to the Ramah in Sif Zayin and of Lamed Amud Bet, going to Lamed Aleph, Amud Aleph of the regular Prince of Mishnah Bura. And the last piece that we did in um, Maran was speaking about a oven that you put half food inside and you uh, closed the the opening of it and smeared the um, the uh, the door sealed basically with clay um, to ensure that nobody is going to open it and, and this is going to stay hot. Whether or not you could um, open that, and Maran said it's mutar to break it open. Uh, we explained why that is, but you can't close it back if you have a goy. Uh, you could do it through him. Maran said, if you have still live coals, you know, hot red coals, then you cannot close it yourself. You need to do it because um, a byproduct of closing it is you are diminishing the level of oxygen, which causes some of those gechalim, some of those hot coals, to uh, turn off the fire, and that's asur. But through a go you could do because this is a psikreshe, uh, which is not going to be in this specific case a problem because not the kavana of what you're asking him to do. It's not what you're asking to do. It becomes basically like uh, asking um, an in Yehudi to take your talit bag out of the car when you left it in the car on Shabbat, um, which the opening the door of the car um, is not an issue. But the, the only problem is there are lights that are attached to that when you open the door. And um, that's not necessarily the kavara, it's a byproduct, it's an ine in inevitable byproduct that's going to happen, but it's not something that you mean to do or you need to do. Therefore, it would be mutar in that case as well. Now, the Rumah says, Yesh machmirin shlo listor stimata tanur betit al yedei Yisrael, im efshar l'asad al yedei no Yehudi. Even though that Maran says it's mutar to open the sealed door of the Tanur, even yourself, the Ramah says they're those who are more stringent, not to do it yourself if you have an Eno Yehudi available. Even if you don't have an Eno Yehudi at your dispense, if you have a Katan, a minor, that is not um, Bar Mitzvah yet, it is something that you, you should be trying through a Katan, an under Bar Mitzvah age, uh, child, not through a Israel Gadol, not through an adult. Now, the Ramah says, this is hakal hakal kodim. That means you try to do the least possible um, leniency. So therefore, if you have a non-Yehudi, a, a non do it through a non-Yehudi. Next step, do it through a Katan, if you don't have a non-Yehudi. But you have an under bar mitzvah bachur, do it through, if you're doing it yourself because you're the only person available, says the Rama, do it through a Shinui. Do it through a Shinui this way, it makes it one level lower. This is what he brings, a psak from the Trumat tradition, and that's how he paskins. Now, Venir Eli, says the Rama, Hademutar lachzor listo matanur. This that you could close it, and the only issue is whether the oxygen is diminished, uh, you know, you do it through a goy. That's only if you, you don't have any other potential problems. But for instance, if you have a pot in there that's half cooked, it's not fully cooked yet, then if, you, if you're closing it, you're, you're dealing with much bigger issues. If you want to do it at night, not Shabbat morning, but you want to do it Friday night, soon after you've done the Hatmana, which the foods are not necessarily mevushal kol circle. Then says the Ramah, there is room for doubt. Maybe these pots are not fully cooked yet because it's still Friday night. You put it there two hours ago, an hour ago. So maybe there are items that are not fully cooked. You have safik. 
asur listoma tanur. Says the Rama, you cannot close the tanur. Why not? The gorem bishul, because this is much more of an offense, so to speak. You are dealing now with a deoraita of cooking, causing a direct uh, enhancement in the cooking process. Kemoshenit by Rishon Zayin Sifdalit. We explained this already before. We spoke over there by Hatmana that if you took off, if you remember, Sifdalit was if you took off the um, the towel, so to speak, or the cover, the Hatmana off of a pot. Or for for that matter, for us would be applicable if you open the the lid of a pot, a cholent pot uh, that they just put on Friday afternoon right before Shabbat, and now you take take off the lid to see if it's cooked, and you see it's not fully cooked. You cannot put the lid back. You cannot put the because putting the lid back intensifies the heat uh, that gets trapped inside the with the steams inside the pot, and higher's the level of heat. Hence, cooking it faster and better. And when it's not fully cooked, you cannot do that because you're now cooking on Shabbat. So, same thing says the Rama over here. Even to tell a non Jew to do it, again, he's contrasting this with Maran. The Maran says, well, you could have the Goy close it because the only problem would be maybe some of the um, live hot coals are going to diminish and die out and that would be mutar because it's a psikrashe of that that nature says the Ramam, even through a go you can do this one in sifhei um, he hasn't quote this over here but but in sifhei uh, in, in we discuss all the details of what you can and what you cannot ask <coughs> going to do now the Kafahaim says this is um, we, we're going to read a little bit of a shahrat over here but the Kafahaim um, he brings the, the Taz and he paskins like that because the Rama himself in his Shelotu Chuvot um, I have it on the side over here in, in the in the Harot of the um, the Mishnah Burah, that the Roma himself in his Shelot Uchuvot Haskins that if the, the food is nitbashel k'machal ben derosai then it's mutar then you could you could rely to ask a goy to um, to close it now this would be really um, a simple fact based on what we learned together um, maybe a year year and a half ago in Siman Shin Yud Chet, you remember the, the principle that was introduced to us by the Mishnah Brother in Siman Shin Yud Chet, in the beginning, in Sif Katan Bet, and also in the Biur Halacham, the, the uh, Mishnah Bura introduced this a second time, that anything that there are those who say it's mutar for a Jew to do lachatchila, you could ask a Goy to do it on Shabbat, right? Now, there, there is a large machloket rishonim, whether or not a food that's edible, further cooking of it is a problem of Bishul and Shabbat or not, we pass in that there is. But there is certainly a legitimate school of thought that it's not considered Bishul even for a Jew. So therefore, it would follow based on that primigadim that Mishnabur Paskin's like that this should be is almost like a problem with the Mishnabura here that it doesn't bavorn, it does not um, mention this this concept it seems like the Mishnah Bura says in any case it would be a problem but uh, he himself again the Ramah himself who's saying this here he himself in uh, Sim Siman in in his Shalot Uchuvot of the Ramah not in the Shukharuch um, over there he paskins that it would be mutar given provided that the food is already edible the machal ben derosai, we call it, let's say, half cooked, uh, Mr. Maran in Chot Shabbat. So that would be mutar. Says the Mishnah This that we say, it's doubtful if the foods are fully cooked or not. Maybe there are foods that are not fully cooked yet. Even if you don't know, you don't know. 
יש לו לחוש לזה. Meaning, maybe everything is fully cooked, but there is a chance that they are not fully cooked. Even for that chance, you have to be mahmir, says the Ramah. It's not one of those things that we say, oh, Safiq, it could be Mekir over here, right? We had in the previous Simanim a, a number of, of, of examples that in Safiq it could be Mekir and assume that everything is good. Because the, those are the Rabbanans. Over here, what you're playing with is a fire, uh, pun intended, of the Oraita, and therefore, uh, you, you don't want to, to, to take a chance if there is room for hashash that the food is not fully cooked, says the um, Ramah, explains the Mishtabura, you should be machmir. Now, this they cannot close it, close the door of the Tanur in that scenario, because when you close it, even without sealing it with, with um, uh, you know, with clay on, around the, the closing area, Mosif Chom, it certainly intensifies the heat over there because it can't escape. Umit Pashel, Bimera, you're hastening the, the process of cooking. Ve'asur, and that is considered part of cooking. Afiru imatanur garuf ve'katum in ha'kechalim, that doesn't matter if it's garuf ve'katum, because garuf ve'katum is a chashash of Shema Yechatei, it's the Rabbanan. Here, you're intensifying heat, it's bishul do'oraita. So it has nothing to do with a tanur being um, empty of of uh, coals, uh, it's not a chashash, it's not a concern um, of shemay hatib kechalim, but rather it is um, in enhancing and intensifying the heat, hence um, hastening the process of cooking. If the tanur is not garuf vekatum, if the tanur has still coals in it, then the Jew cannot close it anyways because um, even if they're, they're fully cooked because of what the Shukharuch already mentioned because um, you're turning off the Kechalim as we mentioned before. The Gorem Bishul, the causing of the Bishul that we mentioned in the Ramah, that you cannot close the tanur because you're causing it to be cooking, this is even is such a problem that even b'diavad is a problem. If you did it, the food cannot be eaten on Shabbat. You have to wait until after Shabbat and b'chitesh yasu, it will become a problem, um, which is really discussed. We discussed this at length in a number of places. The main place was the beginning of Sivan Shin Yudchet, but nevertheless, um, that's only if it was not edible before Shabbat, that he can't use it, but um, if it was edible already and it was hot, so then it's not considered that you're having that much of a hana'ah, it will be uh, mutar. Now, the fact that even, according, uh, uh, even, even through a goy you cannot do this when you're enhancing the bishul, the chafetz chaim, um, here explains that the reason, of course, is because you're intensifying heat and <clears throat> the process of cooking becomes faster and better. And says the Chafetz Chaim, you can't tell the, for sure you can't tell the Goy to smear um, and, and, and um, you know, close and seal the opening with clay because that you have the isura memareach as well on top of it so that would be a I mean, in more than one type of isur but again at the end of the day the, the way we explained it um it would be mutar to tell the goy to close it without sealing the door with clay provided that the food is uh already machal ben the rusai um based on the psak of the kafachayim and the Taz. So that becomes basically the, ba the, the basis of the Alakha for this, which in concludes our, um, uh, our Siman. It's important um, for people to, to, who want to actually uh, get the gist of this important Siman uh, to, to go through the um, one pa long paragraph that the Hafez Chaim writes at the very end of this Siman. To, to try to sum up all of the halachot and fundamentals of shihi, halachot of shiyan hatmana, 
um, it's very kedai to go through that maybe in a different shiur we'll cover that uh, uh, in short as well but Zat Hashem will be starting um, Siman Resh Samech the halachot of uh, bringing in Shabbat and starting the the um, the process of Kavod Shabbat um, in the next year. Chazaku Baruch.